Uh, greetings everyone, good morning. Uh, we'll do a quick review on the uh, smart car I've just purchased. The smart 42.9 litre turbo uh, prime, I believe it's a prime premier. Well, it's definitely a prime. Anyway, have a look, see what you all think. And off we go. Quick little reverse of a slight tight spot out of despite it being on here uh, a small little car there we go it's not the uh not the warmest morning today which foggy but, uh, it's supposed to be a bit of summer it's eight minutes past six in the morning a bit foggy and away we go away we go been driving the car, it's my second day now. Let us look start. Second day going well. Car spot on, I'm six foot. Plenty of headroom, plenty of space. I'm clocking around 110, 112 kilos. Plenty of space here. What you don't notice when you're driving the car is all you, you forget. It's only two seats, it's only a small car up front. Plenty of space, normal, all good. So when you look back and you forget how small it is. Just on the road, it's no problem. Uh, see, it's the, the turbo, 900cc turbo. One thing I was a bit disappointed with yesterday when I collected it. Uh, I, got, I got from a garage uh, dealership in Newcastle. It took a while to find one. Uh, the spec I wanted. Price as well. Uh, uh, got this other day on going, cracked it yesterday. I'm going to pay the, pay the tax. This is uh, done six months or a year. I said, oh, it's good for a year. I thought it'd be free, or at least uh, um, at least 30 pounds a year. Sadly, not 155 for six months only. Yeah, sorry, six months. Sorry, start again. 155 for 12 months road tax. But, uh, never mind, never mind. Pop the window up. It's far from being a face to be The car itself runs, runs fine. Pulling away, you have to really accelerate. It's um, not quite what I'm used to. Um, I usually just drive. Well, my previous car before this was an A350 uh, Coupe, a diesel. Manual for this. I did look for automatics, but some of them are £1,500 more to pay for the auto. I'm not paying that. And for the car, I won't be driving full time. Only reason I say that is say I work overseas, so it makes sense I won't, won't do it as much. fine ones. The leather seats, it's the premium plus leather seats. Not the best quality leather, but it's fine. Acceleration wise, I think there were 60 to some 11 seconds. It's 89 or 93 horsepower uh, for the year. So it's not too bad. Turn circle, unbelievable as expected. Really impressive. Build quality is fine. Um, heavily influenced by Merck. Designed by Smart, uh, originally, but uh, design, uh, so you need uh, built by Mercedes, so you also can get good German quality engineering. Uh, and we'll go. On, on a mini one here, this is just flying round this. Flying round. Handles like the old fashioned minis back in the, uh, the, the original minis from the 60s, 70s. Just throwing corners and handles really, really well. So far, so good. Going inside. 
loads of headroom, nice big moon roof there, ample light, which you can cover over if need be, some of the display panel, some of the effect they've heard, just do nothing fancy with the video, it's just the two speakers, aircon works superb, manual mirrors but no big deal reaching across, leather seats, Two cup holders and a third, just for no reason, and whatever this is for. Glove box, may get one glove in, if you're lucky. Really tailgate, nice little feature. Hand in if you want. And... Big enough, big enough for weekend. A wee bit chopping, yeah. As you can see, just a pretty, pretty simple but effective dashboard. Let's get the key in. Nice funky uh, rev counter and clock there. So, yeah, pretty standard. Nothing superb with the, the video. I don't think it's got DAB. 2017, I would expect DAB, but not the case. This here. Cup holders, nice pen holder. Coins, if people use coins these days in the Castor Society. With my height, I can't quite see the uh, the dial on the analog gauge, but the center one's pretty good. I can see that. That's no problem. It's took me speeding, if possible. Fuel wise, as always with these, the ones on a premium unleaded, cost nothing to fill up and to under £40. So, uh, yeah. Bumps. The handling's very firm. I don't know whether it's been the Sports Turbo or whatever the model is. I don't know if it's firm on for that reason or just how they, these are set up. I'm not too sure. Um, another clear steer. Apologies, but for this summertime, get that turbo kicked in. <laughs> It's a fun little nippy car, let's just leave it at that, for all ages. I went a little bit old driving this. More so for my daughter, most likely, but uh, you do get a few stairs, people look, look at the size of the car. But it's all in fun. Let's see inside here. Loads of space, loads of space, no complaints. Small steering wheel, power steering wheel is very, very light. So easy, and with the I'll demonstrate here with the that you couldn't do any other car than this. Strange with this, or not quite a criticism, but criticism, but takes time getting used to. When you're driving on the motorway or dual carriageway, it's doing 65, 70. Yeah, you can just sit there in fourth gear. Usually, another car. This is a five speed. I'd expect to be sitting in fifth, relaxing. Another case of where the revs is, you can sit in fourth, be fine. See, you in the 30 zone, rather than I'll be in fourth, usually, in most cars or an automatic different. No manual cars, I'd be in fourth, sitting cruising, just taking over, and this you in third. Uh, so when you go to change gear, you expect to go in third, but you're already in third, so you drop it in second. But, uh, it is what it is. Overall, it's a fun little car. You can't be taken too seriously driving it. It's all about fun. Smile on your face as you're driving. So to finish up, 
Pop and Greggs for a breakfast sandwich. Uh, I like the The car's a fun little car. Uh, don't take it too seriously. It's nice. Spacious inside. Fit for one, two, for passenger, whatever. But uh, no, no, plenty of headroom. It's deep enough. Handles really, really well for a small car. Let's see. It's very uh, similar to the old uh, Mark 1 Minis. The handling, the corners unbelievable. U, uh, U turns. You know, 360 is easy. Very easy. Too easy, in fact. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care.